on today's episode of Dialing In, I have a guest here to play a trivia game, and it's Daniel Thurston, and if the name didn't give it away, he's my little brother. Say hi, Danny. Hey, y'all. What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Are you ready to win lots of money? Oh, yeah. That's why I'm here. That's the only reason I ever call you, Glenn. When you I need mean, money. Uh... <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a game that I like to call Win Glenn Thurston's Money. And yes, if Ben Stein wants to sue a podcast of four people, then he can go ahead and do that. So here are the rules. There are five questions that I've shamelessly stolen from Jeopardy. So I guess they're answers, not questions. You have to get at least three out of five right to win anything. The first two questions are worth two mils each. Do you know what a mil is? What? A mil is a tenth of a cent. So we're 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 gonna win a whole lot of money here. So the first two questions are worth two yeah. mil, two mils each. Oh. The next two questions are worth five mils each, and then the final question is worth one cent. Holy cow! So we are playing. I'm- for a, money. We're playing for a total of, uh, let's see, 22 mils. No, 24 mils. There you go. Playing for a total of 24 mils, which is two and a half cents. Wow. And, and I'll even be nice and I'll round it up if you get them all right. Wow, three whole cents? This is crazy. This is fantastic. All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so how this works is I'll give you the the category and then I'll read the answer. You don't have to answer in the form of a question. You just have to give the correct answer. Do I get a bonus mail if I do? Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Question one. The category is inventive minds. Okay. Elisha Graves Otis invented the safety hoist, which we call this. Yes. Elisha Graves Otis invented the safety hoist. What do we call it? Uh, a seatbelt. No. The correct answer is the elevator. Oh, okay. I was oh. thinking, I was like, I don't know, fit, but like hoist, like moving things up. I can see that, okay. Yeah. And that's why there's an Otis brand of elevators. If you're weird. Oh. Yeah, I think BYU has them. Yeah, I remember I worked custodial, and there was an elevator that was Otis. Another piss because the O had been worn off. Yes. Um, <laughs> and one of them was Otis, but half the O had worn off. So, you know, good times. <laughs> I'd, I only know because I tried to figure out which elevators you can push the alarm button in without it actually, like, making bad things happen. Like calling the police or something? Yeah. Just I just want it to make a noise while I'm pushing the button, and that's it. So, I I hope those didn't call the police. That's another thing we would do. Um, you could tell when someone from our custodial crew was in the elevator because you could just hear their alarm all the way up and down as long as they were in it. <laughs> um, we called it the Falcon cry. It's like, ding, 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 ding. I look at that Falcon has called. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready for the next question? I sure am. The uh, the category is Military Matters. Oh, okay. The three elements that make up the Marine Corps seal are a globe, an eagle holding a scroll, and this naval symbol. Well, what is an anchor? That is correct, and you have scored with two mils plus a bonus mil for asking in the form of a question. So that's three mils total. Big money now. Yes. All right, we're going on to the second question, or the third question, which you'll probably think is easier, but came from a later round in Jeopardy, so it's worth five minutes. The uh, category is Dense Matter. Okay. And you know that this question is already incorrect, so whatever. Just ignore it. Of the three, I'll, I'll change it. How about that? Of the three most common states of water, the densest. 
Uh, what is liquid? Yes, that's correct. So we're now up to nine mils, since I'll give you an extra mil for answering in the form of a question. All right. Boy. Woohoo! We're making hey. big money. I wonder, though, do you think a water plasma would be more dense than a liquid water? Like, can you plasmate water? Is that even a thing? I mean, I, I, mean, I th- you probably can. I think so. I mean, it's probably just going to be further apart because they're hotter, right? That makes sense. The plasma is going to be less dense than the gas. All right, question number four. Category is American Islands. Oh, there are a lot of those. Yes. All right. Destroyed in a 1906 earthquake, the first lighthouse on the West Coast was located on this island. What is Catalina? No, that's close. That's good thinking. The answer is Alcatraz. That's what I was thinking. I was like, no, there's a prison there, and Sirius Black was there. (laughs) Alcatraz, Azkaban. It's like the same thing. Weird. But there's no relation. None at all. All right, so this is the last question. And so far, you've gotten two correct, and you need to get three correct to win anything. So if you get this oh, one, boy. if you get this one right, the wire podcast. oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I can feel the the stress mounting and the tension in the air. Okay, so if you get this one right and answer in the form of a question, you'll get another eleven mils, which will bring you all the way up to two cents. And if you get it wrong, wow. you get nothing. Oh. So. Okay. The category is Independence Days. Oh, crap. (laughs) (laughs) If it's not America, it might be a I think you can figure it out. All right. Poland's Independence Day commemorates this month and day in 1918. Poland's Independence Day commemorates this month and day in 1918. No Googling, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, no. Um, Poland... Poland's Independence Day is 1918. Well, um... I think... I don't even know who they would have in, independented themselves from. Um, Russia, I'm guessing. Uh, did you did you choose this as the last one? Because you know I'm bad at history. Um, no, I chose this one because it was the easiest one of the ones I randomly chose. It was the one that after I read the answer made the most sense. <laughs> one of them was like British literature, and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. But... <laughs> Thinking, thinking about it now, you probably would. Uh, maybe. Depends. If it's, if it's Shakespeare, then maybe. If it's anyone else, probably not. Um, I don't know. I guess let's go with July 4th. No. Do you want a hint? <laughs> sure. Might not help. <laughs> we celebrate this. Th- we just celebrate Poland's Independence Day, but we call it something else. Um, no, he was not. not him. Um, <laughs> what else do we celebrate? Like, Jesus was not a pole, I don't think. Um, nope. hmm. We don't. We don't so much celebrate it as get a day off work. Sort of. Sometimes. I think it's a federal holiday. Hmm. So it's the same day every year because yes. I think mean, like Labor Day or something. It's not really like. Nope. It's. Uh, it's, it's, it's the same day every year. Nope. I feel like how I just stole an extra answer in there, but like, it's not this, is it? Oh my god, I guess that anyway. Um, uh, no, I really don't know. Um, can I guess a season and get like half a point? Like, 
sure. <laughs> if you it can... was in Adam. Yes. Oh, oh, good. I, I'm on to something. That's good. That eliminates three quarters of the days. Yep. Um, that was like a one in ninety chance. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, like late Labor Day, nope. or like Thanksgiving, or, is it Halloween? Or October thirty first. It's not Halloween. <laughs> like I know, I know where that came from, but it was not Poland. <laughs> not um, Poland. Oh, you'll. Like, I checked. They made in Poland. On it. It's made in China. Well, um, I'll tell you, and then you'll feel bad because you should have known. Okay. It. In America, we call it Veterans Day, November eleventh. Cause, uh, that, that makes yeah because then uh, Poland became a country at the end of World War One, for the most recent time I guess yeah because it used to be a country before or something yeah but then it got taken over I think before World War One by someone Germany maybe yeah, I can see that I'm on Wikipedia right now trying to look it up <laughs> Yeah, I know that not everyone calls it Veterans Day. Um, I have some friends from England, and I, I think they're from England, but I actually don't know where they're from. Uh, Armistice Day, I've heard them call it that as well. Yes. Um, I can see that. And Remembrance Day. Um... Well, that makes sense. So, like, if we celebrate the end of the war, Poland celebrates... We get to be Poland again. So. Yep. So, yeah, apparently in the... Let's see. Apparently in the 1700s, they got taken over by Russia. Okay. And... Then... Let's see. Then they were annexed by Prussia, which became part of Germany. And then World War One happened, and the Allies said... We're going to make Poland a country again. Make Poland great again. <laughs> you know, I was... I'm, I'm not going to reveal how old I was when I realized that Russia and Prussia, although they rhyme, are not actually the same place. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Okay. Hmm. I oh. did not know that. All right. It may have been last year, um, but, you know... <laughs> Hey, you know, they're just off by a letter. Whatever. All right, so yeah, you, let's see. So you get, you had nine mils before, and with that last question, that was worth 10 mils. We'll say that you got it half right. So that's another five mils. So that's a grand total of four, 14. That's a cent and a half, almost. And I guess I'll round that up to two. Wow. This is great. And you can send, like, a money order or, like, I don't know, per, a personal check. I mean, a traveler's check are accepted here. Like, I don't know. I was going to send it via Google Wallet so that you could figure out how to get it out of Google Wallet for two cents. <laughs> oh. Well, I was like, do you have Venmo? Because, like, that, that's convenient. Um, I probably I like, you do. Can, you can send me a check. I'm like, but... Who sends no, checks? Like, like, what? Who's sending checks these days? I, I don't know. That, that's not a thing, is it? Huh? Not really. We have the internet on computers now. Well, I remember when I had to sign up to pay my rent for my apartment. They're like, can you send to like? It was like the account number and the routing number and I was like I don't know like you can check on like they're on checkbooks and I'm like that doesn't help <laughs> I don't have checks anymore this kind of is not helping whatsoever I think I ended up taking a picture of one of my checks so I would always have it and then I was like this could be dangerous so I deleted it so I was like no I don't want that floating around the internet uh, I had to enter mine in so many places that I have it memorized now 
And and fun fact, I I called Zion's bank for my account number once. They will not give it to you over the phone. <laughs> yeah, that that's good. I'm glad they don't actually. Uh, they're like, we don't give that. I was like, that makes sense. So I still need my account number. Where can I find it? How do I get it? And apparently, because everywhere else, well, because everywhere you look, it's just the last four digits. Right. So apparently, on the they send you a statement every month, and on Zion's Bank, it's electronic. On that PDF, the account number is unobscured at the top. Huh. And I'm like, oh, so I should be more careful when I throw these away. Well, good to know. Yeah. That, that is really interesting. I, hmm. That makes sense. The more you know. <laughs> do 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 do. Yep. And you know what the best part about this whole thing is? What? Like all the time, like by that I mean like both both of you who are listening to this. Yeah, we're super like, popular. If you know what I mean, Glenn are brothers. It just sounds like Glenn has been talking to himself for the last half an hour. Oh yes, Isn't that, that, right? that should hopefully be clarified on the podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna try to send you. Ooh. I'm going to try to send you... Oh, I can't send tenths of a cent. That's dumb. It's, it's just numbers, okay? It doesn't actually mean anything anymore, like, when you think about it. Yeah. Well, I, so I found out... Here's a fun fact about gas prices. Do you know why gas prices always end with nine-tenths of a cent? Why? Because the taxes on gas are tenths of a cent. That's so dumb. Well, yeah, but the gas station's not going to pay for it. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I think... So, I read online that the the nine-tenths makes a difference of about 30 cents on a normal fill-up. And 30 cents times however many millions of gallons of gas you sell is a pretty substantial amount of money. Yeah. You think about, like, 30 cents for one person, you're like, you know, if I got changed and it was 30 cents and I, like, left it on the bus, I wouldn't even care. But... Yes, but uh, in the uh, other... (laughs) Big numbers. But you'll drive around for 30 minutes trying to find a gas station that's 10 cents cheaper. Spending gas to find cheaper gas. I think that's funny. I wonder, like, how much gas did I waste trying to find cheaper gas? Like, you know, it would have just been better if you'd not burned that gas and just paid a little bit more. I don't know. Well, that's right. money that I saved to buy a little bit extra gas. I already have used it. It's too late now. All right, I'm sending you your prize. Oh yeah. On Google Wallet. Google Wallet sent me an email. It says, you sent two cents to Daniel Thurston. Was this you? Because if not, you can report it. And we had the FBI track to see who broke in and sent two cents to someone you didn't authorize. <laughs> yep. Daniel Thurston will need to claim the money. Daniel Thurston will need to claim the money. Ooh, I like that.
I'm not going to introduce you as my host. <laughs> well, you could if you wanted. No one could even tell. <laughs> I'd probably just record it by myself later.